Okay, I've had a number of folks ask me about how I work with Art Rage. So I'm going to do a couple of quick vids on how I try to simplify my approach to using it, and limiting the number of brushes that I work with. When I initially started, and I've been doing this for about oh, three or four years, I guess now, I thought I had to know everything. And I thought I had to try every brush and use every brush to try to make a an effective um, um, outcome um, from you know working with this digital stuff. I now know what I want and my want is simply to use this as a tool to sketch, to uh, make decisions about the paintings I'm about to um, um, embark upon, to plan them, to critique and edit my work and work of my students as well. And so I use it basically as a combination of paintbrushes and palette. Um, and I do nothing fancy with it at all. And I am, through simplification, enjoying it a heck of a lot more. So this is Art Rage Vitae. This is on a Samsung Galaxy tablet. Um, and it is uh, very nice to work with. Um, I have a, a, a hand hold on the back of this thing so I can go out and sketch and um, feel very comfortable with it. So my setup is very simple. This is basically what um, you get out of the box, so to speak. But notice that I've put all my icons, my action icons, down at the bottom. Because I tend to be at the bottom of this page when I'm working, not at the top. So I was always reaching up, having to lift my arm to reach up to, uh, you know, to make anything work, work, work like that. Um, so now it's down at the bottom and I'm much more comfortable with that. So what is it that I work with? Generally, I do a, a few things. One is to draw. And drawing um, is using this guy here, which, which is the, the airbrush. And the airbrush gives me a very nice, um, sort of a soft look to it, like a soft pencil. Um, I don't know, a 4B, 5B a kind of pencil, which I quite like. I don't like the scratchiness of the, the actual pencil brush and so on. So this is my drawing tool, just that simple. So I can take and do you know, all sorts of things. As far as managing its settings, uh, the only thing I would change basically is the opacity or the pressure, and that you know that changes it. But I can overcome that a little bit through through pressure. But it's it's nice to have that variation. So it's a very nice tool for for cross hatching, you know, at at different um, um, degrees of, of of intensity, so to speak. And I'm quite happy with that. That's my drawing my drawing tool. So let's open up a new. Um, uh, a new layer and then um, I use in addition to that most commonly is my paintbrush and that's the only one that's available in the the tablet um, the the mobile version the the desktop has a couple of, of ones and it is something that is just sort of general purpose and I use it in a whole variety of different ways I play with the settings on this one the size of course but also the pressure the thinners the amount of loading paint, and I think of it as a paintbrush, nipping into paint, um, just, just that simple. And then what I use a lot is this choice of either to instant dry or not, and auto clean or not. And that's, uh, it brings you into blending and, and, and that sort of thing. So let's just, um, this is not, not gonna move, I guess, on me. Nope, I'm kind of stuck with it there. So I'm going to set this thing up, and I'm going to have the thinner at about halfway. So I've dipped my brush now into, into Gamsol, or water, whatever it is you're working with. Size, I don't want, it, don't want it too big. And the pressure, nah, about like that. So that's kind of sort of normal. And then how much paint do I want on it? About, about there. And I want it instant dry. Um, and so let's have a look at what that, that will do for me. Um, so that is now, I'm going to increase the size of it so you can see it. So that is now with the thinner and it's got good coverage because I've loaded enough paint on it. I have to think about this thing as a paintbrush. How much thinner have I got? How much paint have I loaded onto the thing? The size of it, all of this kind of stuff. This, the shape of the head, this is a square head now and I can um, go through and, um, no, that actually was the round head. There's the square head. Sorry, that looked like a very round head to me. Um, and yeah, that's a little more uh, round, roundy. Um, the big thing is is the amount of paint that this thing is picking up. 
So if I cut the thinner down, look look at what happens up here, uh, the kind of definition that, that you get in the sample that's up top. I increase the pressure, it gets juicier again. I can come down and increase the stiffness, and that has an entirely different effect with it again. So the stiffness is going from a hog's hairs brush down to a softer syn synthetic brush uh, with it. And, and when you get that, for me, at least when I got that in my head, life got an awful lot better. So let's let's play with that. So there is, let's add a little lighter thing. You can see the juiciness of that paint. It's absolutely wonderful uh, with, with, with it. And just see how it, it uh, just, I mean, it just looks like thick, heavy, heavy, juicy paint. Um, I can um, get rid of the Insta, the, the, the um, Insta Dry, and now when I'm mixing it, <clears throat> they'll come and they'll mix together. Um, so it doesn't dry over the top. I actually create a mixing so I can get a transition in between colors um, and uh, just do a variety of things you know, with that, just like if I was working with, with oil paint. Closer to oil paint than, than, than acrylic, but it's uh, you know, the same sort of thing. So I just got used to playing with all of these things. I can go up here and there's all of these options to preload and preload and preload. I used to go through them all and drive myself nuts. Now I basically uh, confine myself to just what's available here and I can control most of what I want uh, with that. And uh, it just, yeah, just does great things that I'm extremely happy with. And you can actually you know, use this in a variety of different ways. So, you know, people use this as their drawing tool, just cut, cut the size down a bit. And if I'm gonna draw, I don't want, I want some thinners into that and I want a little less paint on it. And then I've got a, a nice, nice drawing tool that I can take and, and do different things with. Um, and and it, it just gives me a lot of flexibility with it. And so I've tried to spend my time um, working with those two primarily as, as the, um, the source of, uh, um, of, of useful sketching, correcting, painting, and so forth. The other one I like a lot, and let's go and open up another layer. Where were we? A new layer, okay, is the, um, the roller. So the roller does neat things. Uh, I, I have a, a very coarse canvas I put under uh, this this time, and, and that um, is making that show up in, 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 that, in that fashion, as you'd expect, you know, with a, a very coarse canvas. So I can increase the pressure, I can increase the size, I can take and in, increase um, the amount of paint through loading, I can change the thinners. Um, and what I like, getting the thinners out and increasing the pressure and the load, then I get into, uh, it's not going to show it on on this, this underpainting, but it can be extremely juicy. And I, I, I like the, the effect that it creates. I use it for clouds and just abstracted different, different shapes um, that, that I might you know, wanna have in, in, in the painting uh, itself. Um, and so that's, that's one that I use all the time as well. The other one that I would use is the, ooh, where are we? Is the the filler so if I come back if I come back and you know draw a shape and you know I may be doing my, my shapes in a painting whatever and I want to quickly put in my my values I'll use the filler tool the the, the paint bucket up top there and just ask it to just quickly you know put in something so I can have a oops so that and that's a, uh, a common problem I've not closed off some of these spots in the um, I want the spread down uh, I've not closed off some of those spots so let's see if that holds it yep that's not so I just control the spread and then have a really light one over here and I can go through and quickly quickly in my shapes in a, uh, a sketch for my work I can uh, add um, um, very flat abstracted values um, and I, I use that guy a lot then the other thing finally is the eraser. I mean, I use it all the time. I'm always drawing and sketching. So I, I'm, I'm outside with this all the time. I'm sitting in the car sketching when I'm waiting for the ferry. I'm sitting, you know, just all the time uh, with this. Now and again, I might use a, a, um, um, uh, a palette knife 
and there's a number of them. I find them a little confusing, but if I if I want to um, increase the pressure or the load and spread it around and make it uh, you know, sort of more um, interesting, so to speak, I'll play with the palette knife, but not very often. It's mainly about creating paintings or editing paintings that I use. And the rest of this stuff, I do not use at all. In fact, I wish like heck I had the option of getting rid of a whole bunch of these things and just narrowing it down to the half dozen that work for me. Maybe over time, I'll grow into the use of the others, but right now, over time, I've grown away from the use of the others, and I'm much, much happier with it. One of the things they've added just recently, which I am really pleased about, in fact, I'm one of the people that got on their case about it, is the use of, this, of the straight line. Um, to be able to go in and do things with a bang, bang, just, you know, great abstracted shapes. Go in and, you know, imagine the, the shape of this tree coming here. That's the first go around. And then I'll come inside that with the next layer and define that to, to create it more interesting. But it just capture with straight lines those, uh, um, the, the shapes, you know, as quickly as I can. So that's a pretty crude overview. Uh, I hope it helps a little bit. Um, it's uh, a, a great program. There are other programs I like a lot, um, and this is the one that I choose because of its versatility for me in my teaching program, because I can use it on my Samsung phone, I can use it on my Samsung tablets, on my laptops, and on my desktop. So I can be outside making a sketch with my phone, bring it home, and bingo, it's on my laptop or my desktop, and I can with the more sophisticated program that we have on the desktop and laptop, I can go in and do other things with it to uh, take it to another level if I choose to. doesn't happen often. What I need from this, I can get from my mobile most of the time. Hope that helps. Cheers.